All right, so we got the LG 120 amp hour cells here. This is a 4S that I'm building for a friend. I got uh, this. these bolts actually I got from uh, that BMW battery I just took apart. They work perfect for this, so like I said, you get lots of extra goodies when you take those uh, uh, electric car batteries apart, like the BMW with 32 kilowatt. And what I'm using is some more goodies from cars and whatnot. Uh, right here, I'm going to be using these two bus bars, and I'm sandwiching the tabs together with two bolts and these two bus bars. This is all copper, so this is all going to be sandwiched together. Then I'm going to tighten these down, and then if if I need to pull off this connection, I will uh, just attach it to one of these bolts. And I'm going to do that on all four tabs, all the way around, or five tabs, I mean. And then we got our big, beefy, I believe this is 150 amps, uh, true 150 amps. This thing is huge, like, in comparison to my hand. This is a monster, and it's got bust bars everywhere. This is a really nice BMS. I got it for... I believe this is about a hundred bucks and it's got a Bluetooth dongle so you can you have an app you can enable and disable this this is gonna be perfect for his camper it's got uh, 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 thermal management for the batteries uh, I have not tested this to see if this will uh, low volt or low uh, temperature shut off or not but either way when it's that cold I'm just gonna let him know that hey you shouldn't charge your your lithium batteries in the extreme cold so let's get to it okay so this is what it looks like completed or at least this side is completed everything's it's extremely tight like you could not you would pull these tabs off ripping this off same with these down here and you see that they're all attached quite nicely and I find this way works really well for these so just by uh, pretty much a big piece of uh, copper maybe like uh, three quarters of an inch by eighth inch or less yeah probably eighth inch uh, bar cut it up and then you have uh, this uh, nice little package for clamping down on these terminals all right so we got the BMS board here uh, I don't believe I'm gonna be using the battery positive uh, I'm not sure if I even have to hook this up for this to work um, I believe I'm just passing through and coming out. Uh, we'll be checking that, but uh, I'm lining the back with duct tape and I'm going to be covering these bolts uh, extra because I'm just mounting this to the side of this battery. Uh, I'm going to put, probably I have some shrink wrap that I'm going to put on here just in between and then I will fasten this. Yeah, let's get to it. Guys, I'm really excited about this battery. This thing is really nice. So, you got the 150 amp BMS, and this looks like a true 150 amp BMS with the bus bars. It's just, it's a huge unit. We got the Bluetooth dongle that I have to just fasten somewhere, but he'll probably end up fastening this in his trailer. Uh, we got the app here. And as you can see, I have it on lock. That means it's not putting out any power. And that's pretty neat. Oh, just wait, let it die off completely. There is some power left in the, the capacitors here. But the neat thing about this is you can leave this inverter on all the time. As long as you have this app, you can see we're sitting at 37%. Come on, focus. Yep, there it is. And then what I have here is this 3000 watt inverter is hooked up to this six or 16 volt battery, 4S uh, lithium ion battery, 120 amp hours. And I got an air conditioner connected to that. So in his uh, little camp he's building from scratch, which I'll show you guys soon is uh, he could have an air conditioner like this set up and he could be outside or whatever and if he felt like it he could just, just be like oh you know what I want this on boom turns on turns on 
and your air conditioner turns on. That is awesome. We are pulling. Oh boy. I don't know if you guys can see that. 33 amps. 33 amps at what's the battery voltage? Come on here. Okay, so here's some more stats. If you guys can see this, we're at 14 volts. The batteries are pretty low. That's what we're pulling. And then you go over, you can see our individual cells. That's pretty sweet, man. I really like this thing. And then if you're uh, done with it and you want to shut it off, you just boop. I'll probably end up um, disabling the beeper for him if he wants me to. Uh, I'll let that be up to him. But yeah, I think he'll probably want the beeper disabled. And I also have th this through rod on here, which is some extra nuts and bolts for mounting this. So you can sandwich this in between plywood or whatever you want and mount this to the wall. Um, yeah, it's just for the price. So the battery was 200 American plus shipping to my house was 40 bucks plus so 240 bucks for the battery. And then the BMS was $100 shipped to my house. So now we're talking $340 for a 4S 16 volt lithium ion battery. This inverter, I believe, is around $300 American. So, both these together are still cheaper than a Battleborn battery, which does not have Bluetooth capability, which doesn't have an inverter, which, like, you, there's so much more you need, and this, in my opinion, is better. Like, it's just so nice to be able to just, I better not hit that yet, it's probably lock rotor still. But, uh... Yeah, it's a pretty sweet little system. I really like it. He's, if these become available again, he's going to buy another one. I'm just going to parallel the battery. He'll probably keep just one BMS for two batteries because it's pretty overkill. Let's see if it works this time. Let's focus. Works like nothing. No problem. That's awesome, man. I'm so happy. It's going to work great for him. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you later.